Welcome, this is Joshua Benoist in Autodesk Product Support. Um, we're going to talk about how to add uh, structural members to our AutoCAD MEP template. And when certain structural members are not available, how do we create them? So read here the problem statement and let's move on. AutoCAD MEP has structural members, but it comes with the AutoCAD Architecture Content Pack. So if you don't have the AutoCAD Architecture Pack, you go to the Start Menu, uh, Control Panel, Add Remove Programs, go down to AutoCAD MEP, um, select it, say Change Remove, Click on Add or Remove Features. I've already got AutoCAD Architecture Content Pack on mine, um, but I'll show you where to add it. So the first screen we come to is this configuration screen. You know, it's, it's the one where you get to add Express Tools, just something good to know. Um, and then pull this up here where you can see it. Click the Next button. And then the next screen is where you get to check the architecture content pack. So it's off by default. When you go to install, it's always a good idea to install the architecture content pack. And, um, um, you know, sometimes you need these others, sometimes you don't. When you install for the very, very first time, there will be an additional um, one at the top up here above the MEP and it will say classic AutoCAD and so there will be a, a check mark for classic AutoCAD make sure that this is set to yes because the proper way to switch profiles in AutoCAD MEP is with a desktop icon um, do not ever go to the options menu to switch profiles always use the desktop icon. So anyway, make sure that's installed. Um, make sure the architectural content pack is installed and finish. So I'm gonna cancel since I've already got everything. Um, yeah. All right, so inside of AutoCAD MEP, first you need to do is switch to the architectural um, workspace. So I'm already there and you know, you know you're in the architectural workspace if you go to the home and you see, um, you know, walls and doors and windows and stuff. So anyway, let's go back to the Manage tab and go to Style Manager. So Style Manager pops up and what I want you to do is expand on architectural objects and down here you've got structural members shape definitions. We click on that and go to the design rules tab you can see the shape the profile of the shape that that are in here um, and these are the ones that are in AutoCAD MEP in the MEP template. I think the architectural template has a few more but not much not many more. Um, we can add them to the MEP template real easily. Go to the open drawing click on this icon right here called content. It takes you to this folder right here and click on styles. Click on imperial. Scroll down until you see a file that says member styles and click open. So now you've got member styles down here. This style drawing contains all the structural member styles um, out of our content folders. Uh, you will only see this drawing if the architectural content pack is installed. Now, go to structural member shape definitions and you can comb through these and basically figure out which one you want, which shape you want, um, and add it to your file. So I believe um, in my example the customer wanted um, some uh, square tubing styles. Now this one appears kind of close, it's square. Um, that one's a little closer. 
So, you know, when, when you're ready to, you can select it, right click, say copy, and you can come up here and right click and paste it. So that'll paste one at a time, but there's a quicker way. If you want to get more than one, don't come here. You can't multi-select over here, but if you select on the heading, you can multiple select and use the control key too and copy as much as you want and bring them over. Okay, so now now those structural styles exist in our current file. Make sure to close your style drawing that you opened. It stays in memory otherwise, <clears throat> uh, even between drawing sessions. So we've got those structural member shapes over here. Well, what if what if the shape that you want isn't quite accurately right here? You know, this is just a set of polylines. So I'm going to say OK here for the moment. What we want to do is make a polyline of our shape, or you can, you don't have to use polylines, I think you can use just about anything. Um, so I'm going to say at 4 inch, comma 4 inch, oop, 4 inch, there we go, enter. All right. Now if you want to Champ for those, you can do that. Radius, I don't know, maybe it's an eighth of an inch. Okay, and then maybe you need to do an offset. There it is. Offset distance. Um, maybe it's half inch thick. Maybe it's a quarter inch thick. I don't know. So, you know, there's your square tubing right there. And we go back into Style Manager. In the structural member styles, shape definitions, and say new, and say square member. Ah. Okay, so that goes down there. Now, what what we're going to want to do, you know, AutoCAD architecture has um, displays. You know, in in MEP, we've got medium detail display and piping and plumbing and so on. Architectural, they have low, medium, and high detail. Um, and so you get to pick which flavor. Um, so here we can say set from and select lines, arc circles, or polylines. And you can choose that, enter. Insertion point is going to be in the middle. And I'm going to say mid between two points. There. So it picked dead center right there. Okay. So if we go to medium detail, we now need to set the shape from that. And I'm just going to use the same. Hmm. Um. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Cancel. There we go. Oh, or circle for an outer ring. Okay, there's the outer ring. Insertion point, mid between two points, in point here, in point there, and boom, there's my medium detail. And then high detail. Insertion point. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Let's try it again. So 
So in order to add that middle ring, you say A, and then you choose the next ring in, and then it says insertion point. We can just say centroid of this, and it picks it for us. So that's another method of, of determining your uh, center point. So there's high, high detail, here's medium detail, and low detail. All right, um, we've got this, this member now, and that's just the shape definition. You go here to the member styles and you say new member style. And so you add this style here, you go to design rules, and you pick your shape. And we created the shape before from that. And, um, you know, you might say this is the, the segment of, of your structural member. So you can build up components, like to make a truss, and and then show details and you can you know basically um, this is how you make all your trusses you know your your beginning shapes and your end shapes in case your tr your truss somehow changes shape transitions um, all across the length you know the rotation of it um, start points and end points and stuff and since this is just a single square member we only have one segment Materials, you can assign it to a material here, you know, maybe it's aluminum, maybe it's it's um, steel or something. I don't have any material definitions in the AutoCAD MEP template file. You know, once again, you can go down to multi-purpose objects, and here's material definitions. And <clears throat> you can go back up to the open and we're already inside of the style drawing, so if you want additional material definitions, you find the style drawing for material definitions and open it. And go to multi-purpose objects, material definitions, and there's just a bazillion there. Um, you know, so here's a bunch of metals and or ornamental metals and structural metal metals. So I'm going to say copy, and I'm going to just paste them up into my file, close this file, and now I've got a bunch of of um, materials that I can now choose from, you know, so I'll just say it's a steel member, and we don't need to classify it or anything, just say OK, and now, um, you know, we're free to draw that structural member, So here's our square member. And I just go in there and start drawing it. And it's a four inch structural mem uh, square member. So, you know, remember, you're going to have to make a profile for every size. And there you go. There's your structural member. Now, in the MEP design, it's kind of like low detail. Um, there's the architectural medium detail. We'd need to be in an architectural template, which has high detail, if we wanted to see the inside um, lines. And, um, but because MEP, you know, our files need to be very efficient. Um, it, it dumbs down the details and you just get the outside general shape of it. So anyway, that's how you make a structural member um, and make a new structural member style inside AutoCAD MEP. Thank you very much.